Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. In this video, I will show you an application I created in ServiceNow which is integrated with Coven Portal. Coven Portal provides information about the vaccination in India. So I have just tried to use its public APIs and how can I fetch some information and store in ServiceNow system. For that, I have created an application, scoped application. So let's see in my personal developer instance. So this is my personal developer instance. Now, in order to integrate basically with any third party application, that third party application should have some APIs so that it can expose those APIs and we can use it. So similarly, you can also find Coven application, Coven portal APIs. So here it says protected one, but you also have public APIs. So I have used public APIs in which I was able to fetch information about states and I was able to fetch information about districts. And you can search with the state ID as well, what all districts you have uh, within that particular state. Now, I was able to fetch these information because these are publicly available right now. However, if I talk about appointment sessions, they need some authentication. Moreover, even sessions are available publicly. You can see it says public. That means you can still get the sessions, but I'm still getting some error from service now. Maybe because of some uh, and the error I'm getting, it's just telling me that you, maybe the traffic, there's a lot of traffic on the website. That's the reason you're not able to fetch the data. So what I did, and just to show you that how exactly I did this integration, so I just tried to uh, pull the data of states and districts. So in that case, my goal is just to make you understand that how you can integrate with a fresh new application so Cohen application is pretty much new. So I just thought if we can utilize the power of service now and create some, some kind of a dashboard or some kind of application so that users can basically uh, get the details of the vaccination and also they can register the appointments for vaccination with the help of service now systems so service now platform. So I will just directly go to uh, my instance and now I will type here. So the name I gave to this application is Cohen. So you can see this is the application I created what I did now because how exactly you can search for vaccination slots and all. So you can search with districts, pin codes, states. What I did, I created three different tables. Now this one is transaction. It's just to see the transactions and how many transactions I'm doing to that particular portal. So for that, what I did, as I mentioned, I created a scoped application. So I will go here, studio. You can see I created a lot of tables. So I created like uh, these uh, four tables like this. And you can see, I will also show you the data. And here is a district. We have pin codes. Uh, we have, this is the Cohen API. Now I have to fetch the data. So I just created a few outbound APIs. You can see here, get location by states, get sessions, get district by states. And then here is this scheduled script basically. So I, I, I just execute the script and you can get that data. Now, this is basically the script include. So this is calling the script include and the function in that script include and where we have that script include I will quickly go here so you can see this I have this uh, function written over here uh, this one gets states which basically gets the states so if I will go to here you can see that I can get all the states what I did I'm just fetching all the states and I'm storing that here so if I click this you can see I'm getting all the states. You can see some bogus names as well. The reason is because that's coming from the test server. That's the reason you're not getting the actual actual name like DNM state, DH state. These are all test states. So as I mentioned, I just did it just for demo purpose. 
to see how can I integrate and how can I use power of service now. So if I go here and I will show you the second function, the second function I wrote get district because we have different uh, different endpoint for uh, district as well. So you can see we have state ID. So you have to provide the state ID. So I'm storing that state and then I'm providing the state ID, which I am also storing. So you can see I have this ID and then I am pulling district as well as of now it is just showing 24 that's what that's kind of response i'm getting from that test server but yeah if you will be able to get the authentic authentication details then you can definitely fetch all the data not even this the data which is public if you will be able to access uh, with this or like for all these apis then you can definitely create a concrete application a solid application which can basically can be used by the users to uh, cre create the appointments get the data of the vaccination slots and all that's something you can definitely do so as i mentioned i just did it with this these two uh, uh, these two different paths i have and we have created script include we have created uh, the scheduled job which can keep on running and check for the new states maybe it, it sometime it might happen right that's the reason i wrote in scheduled job so that my system can keep on checking that hey do i have a new district do i have a new maybe uh, the coven portal doesn't have that ideally it should have all the states so it maybe it's kind of a one time one time uh, job which you just run and fetch all the details but if if let's say if that particular site is getting is getting updated then you can just uh, uh, write this in scheduled job and you can get the data frequently and as I mentioned, we have created this outbound REST APIs. We are just getting, so we are not posting anything. It's all get, but you can still post. So you can see we have post method as well for REST APIs. And, and this is the application I created. This is the pin code. So if you get the district data and uh, if you want to store pin codes as well, so I have created that as well, but I did not fetch that information. But here we have district, and here we have states so that's how i have integrated one of my application I, I think i just created this application in just one hour and i just used the application studio and i was able to create this application i just used the endpoint provided by this coven portal and i will i was able to fetch that data you can see it says demo data so i'm all i'm i'm getting all demo data and i was able to fetch that data and store in my my service now instance so this is how you can integrate uh, service now with Cohen portal and if you are able to get the authentication then you can also create a full-fledged application and and utilize uh, maybe maybe for different users thank you for watching this video if you like my channel and videos please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos and comment on my videos and share my channel and videos Thank you and have a great day.